Good morning, good day, and good evening! This is Liam, the Retro Gamer 91, back playing Pokemon Crystal, part 6. So, where we last left off, we had completed Ecruteague City's gym, and I think everything in Ecruteague, um, except for one thing up north here. So, let's just head up here. Ecruticus have two towers, one each in the east and west. So we can only pass through here once we have the badge, as there was someone here blocking our path. Tin Tower may be entered only by those bearing Ecruticus City's badge. However, now that Suicune, Raiko, and Entei have arisen, <clears throat> I ask you to refrain from entering. Oh. Astounding. Suicune, Entei, and Raiko have arisen from their sleep. Is the legend coming true? We train at the Burned Tower, but we've never heard of a hole opening up there before. It must have been deliberately made by someone. Hmm. It did somewhat just appear from under me, didn't it? Okay, well, uh, that was the only thing I didn't do in the last episode, so... I suppose now we would head to Olivine City. I think it's Olivine anyway. Let me just consult which gym's next. Oh no, it's Mahogany Town. Oh no, sorry, Simwood City, isn't it? Is it? Dunno, let's find out. I know we can now surf, so it's probably this way. Where did you say you were from? New Bark Town. Professor Elm lives over there, right? You've come a long way to get here. I have. Route 38. Let's see what's... Ooh, actually, before we do anything, let's just switch my team back around. There we got Bayleaf, haven't we? Switch. Okay, and away we go. Now that Entei, Raiko, and Suicune are out and about, uh, we can possibly uh, find them in the wild. Oh. Uh, I'll tackle you. I don't have a Raticate. Do I have any Pokeballs, actually? Oh, yes, I do. Okay. We'll catch you just for Pokedex entries. It rolled three times and broke out. Nice. Let's try that again. Got ya. Okay, Raticate's newly added data. The rat Pokemon. The webs on its hind legs enable it to cross rivers. It searches wide areas for food. So, and away we go. <clears throat> okay, here we go. First trainer of the episode. You seem to be good at Pokemon. If you are, how about giving me some advice? Okay, let's... Last Dana wants to battle. Oh, a Flaffy! Nice! So Flaffy's an electric type. Effective, good. Oh, I meant to press tackle, but never mind. I 
Finish it off. Level 30. Ooh, a Psyduck. Okay, this is a no-brainer. Let's go for its weakness. One shot hit. Nice. Last Dana was Dana, sorry. I see. So you can battle that way. Okay. I know something good. Moo Moo Farms milk is famous for its flavour. You you're really good at Pokemon. Boys give me items after battles, but sometimes they give me too much. Next time, I can share some if you want. Let me get your phone number. Okay, so she's offering to give me items. Okay, yeah, I'll take a number for that. Next time a boy gives me something after a battle, I'll share some. Does that make me bad? No, it makes you kind. So for the potential of running into one of the legendary... Uh, beasts. <laughs> I'm going to keep sticking around the grass. Ooh, Meowth. Okay, I don't want to faint this Meowth. And I fainted this Meowth. Oh well, I'm pretty sure there's more in the grass. Oh, hello Raticate. I don't need to battle you. I've already caught one of you. I'm trying to get out of the grass now. Ooh, a knockdown! There's little point in me catching that. My Hootoot's only one level beneath it, and it'll soon evolve into a knockdown anyway. I'll just use this for XP points. Sight. It identified me. Good for you. You're not going to last longer. So, what's this way? Mill tanks. Ah, this is the farm, isn't it? Our milk even goes out to Kanto, so if our own mil mill tank won't give us any milk, we're in trouble. You've got more out back. My mill tank ain't giving me milk no no more. This here, this here farm's got famous milk. Most everyone, most everyone wants a drink. It'll give me lots old milk if and I feed it lots old berries. I reckon. Maybe I should have said that in a farmer's accent. Hey, a mint berry. It's cry as weak. Oh, I've got no berries. Moo Moo is sick. She needs lots of berries. So you just need a generic berry. Um, I've got other berries. But surely they can't just roll... Oh. Let me see what your Pokemon are capable of. Surely like, that farm can't just rely on the one mill tank. Psychic Norman wants to battle. Well, this isn't going to be difficult. I know Slowpoke is a psychic as well, but it's water, so sucks to be you, I'm afraid. Slowpoke again. I 
About these episodes, uh, like with the Legend of Zelda videos I'm doing, I'm trying to make them shorter, uh, just to more or less test to see how uh, viewers uh, react to them. Um, if they prefer sm uh, shorter videos, then I'll just obviously make more parts to the game, because it'll just take that much more longer. Um, but if people still like them long, then I'll just keep keep it as they are. Hi Gold, how are you? I found a, a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. Mother, thank you again for spending my money that you said you'd save for me. Oh, that mother. She's quite annoying, isn't she? Oh wow, they really ch made sure you couldn't dodge anyone here. This is a good time to brag about my Pikachu. Oh, he's a Pikachu fanboy. Pokefan Derek wants to battle. Pokefan Derek sent out Pikachu. For anyone who's watched any of my uh, latest Pokemon videos, the ending screen uses that Pokemon sprite. Down he goes. Nearly level 31. I had no time to show off Pikachu. Very true. Ooh, more grass. Let's see what's in, on this route. I'm eagerly awaiting my first encounter with Entei and Raikou. Suicune's a bit more of a special case. You won't encounter Suicune in the wild. In Gold and Silver, you do, I think. It's been a long, t it's been much l longer since I played them games than it was Crystal. Uh, I'll just use Poison Powder this time because Tackle just outright murdered me out. With Crystal, Suicune appears as an actual physical sprite that you engage with, um, and. Oh, I can't use it again, can I? I'll just lob a Pokeball at him and see if I can get er lucky early. So, we'll encounter Suicune as we journey through the map, and it'll eventually uh, uh, lead us back to Tin Tower, which w where we'll have our encounter with him. But the other two, uh, we see in the wild. Oh, we caught him! Uh, okay, so Meowth, Scratch Cat. It loves things that sparkle. When it sees a shiny object, the gold coin on its head shines too. Nice. Okay, well we've caught ourselves a Meowth. And here we are now in Olivine City. That thing you have. It's a poker gear, right? Wow, that's cool. Thank you. Oh no! You again! There's no need to panic. I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here. Supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. <laughs> Boo hoo, just let the sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go and train at the lighthouse? Who knows? It may be it may make you a bit less weak. See ya, Silver. So yeah, there's no gym leader here, as uh, Silver's already told us. Jasmine, the, gy uh, the gym leader, is at the lighthouse. She's been tending to a sick Pokémon. A strong trainer has has to be compassionate. Try to tell that to Silver. Olivine is on the sea, and if it's on the sea, there are bound to be fish. I've fished here for 30 years. Would you like to face the sea and fish? Yes. We have ourselves a new angler. We got ourselves the gold, uh, the good rod. Fish aren't found in the sea alone. They go wherever there is water. Very, very true. My butterfree came from my boyfriend overseas. It carried some mail from him. Want to know what it says? Let's see. Nope, it's a secret. I, why did I go into the market? <laughs> uh, let's have a little look around here. 
Hi, I'm looking for this Pokemon. If you have a Krabby, would you trade it for my Voltorb? Uh, no. Gee, that's really disappointing. Sorry. Whenever I get in trouble, Daddy always scares me. Okay. Along the way to Simwood, there are four deserted islands. Bad kids are taken to the islands as punishment. Oh, wow. If he's saying that to his daughter, no wonder she's terrified. The sea is sweet. Sunsets on the sea are marvellous. Sing with me, yo-ho, blow the man down. Okay. Ha, your Pokemon sure look like lightweights. They don't have the power to move boulders aside. Here, use this to teach them. Strength. Oh, nice. We just got HM4. <laughs> on the sea, the only thing you can count on is, y is your own good self. I'm so proud of my buff bod. Whenever I rolled into this town, I always visit the Olivine Cafe. Everything on the menu makes me feel stronger. I can't stop eating. Olivine Cafe's menu is chock full of hearty fare for beefy sailors. Okay. Wow, you and your Pokemon are really close. Thanks, stranger that I've never spoken to before. The sailor in the Olivine Calf next door is really generous. He taught my Pokemon strength. Now it can move big boulders. Okay, well we've explored the city and everything it has to offer so far. All we've got left is the lighthouse. Dark roads are dangerous at night. But in the pitch black of night, the sea is even more treacherous. Without the beacon of the lighthouse to guide it, no ship can sail. Well, let's hopefully uh, resolve this issue. In the past, Pokemon used the lighthouse to light the sea around Olivine at night. The lighthouse was made in honor of those Pokemon. Didn't speak to you. <laughs> so it's not its not exactly a very uh, tall building. There's a few battles on the way. Hmm. This is no place for playing. It's no place for just standing there waiting for people either. If you're a real gentleman, Alfred, then you wouldn't just stand there. Level 20 Noctowl. Impressive. It's a bird. Why did I use grass? I should have just used tackle. Critical hit, but not effective. Oh, you really had to go there, didn't you? Do I have any awakenings? Oh, do eight! Why do I have eight? Ah, Gengar. Um, I remember now, yes. Uh, Ecrutique's gym. He, uh, he wanted to keep using Dream Eater, didn't he? Well, lucky me. It's paid off. Oh, another awakening. I'd only use it after the bat battle anyway, so why not? One final tackle. And the match is ours. Level 31. Body slam. Yes, I've been waiting for this move. Uh, tackle. Body slam. A much better move. Ah, I can see that you're serious. Nearly a grand and a half off the old man. Oh, go away. Men of the sea are always spoiling for a good fight. Well, men of the sea, for if without being a stereotype, tend to just have water Pokemon. So, Sailor Huey, I've got a grass Pokemon. You're not going to win. 
I don't even need to use my newly learned body slam either. Razor Leaf will just finish this match. Sorry, sorry, Poliwag. And sorry, Poliwhirl. <laughs> you're coming out and you're just going to get sl slashed to death. So as I was, uh, I mentioned earlier that I'm going to be making shorter videos just to test to see how the, reac the reaction is to them. Uh, so for this episode, uh, I'm not clock watching, but I do want to try and make them shorter. Oof, I lose. Uh, so I'll be wrapping this up probably after this lighthouse, um, just to see how it how it how it fares. Why are you here? I suggest that you leave. Sorry I couldn't backtrack, I actually missed the other sentence. <laughs> Birdkeeper Theo wants to battle. Oh, he's just gonna have a team of Pidgeys, isn't he? He's got a body slam now. Look at that! That power! Where was that <laughs> during my first gym battle against flying types? Another Pidgey. I suppose the level difference was probably making up for it as well. I am only, you know, I am fully slamming level 15 Pidgeys as I'm crawling towards being level 32. Nearly there. More than halfway through your team. Would it be more realistic if these games, if after you defeated the trainers, they disappeared? Because naturally you'd assume that they'd have to go back to the Pokemon Center. So even if... Especially with day-night cycles, it would be interesting to see a game where, the, where after you've beaten a trainer, they disappear from the map. Uh, for say a day and then they'd reappear on that route again the, a day after that uh, and you can battle them again it'd be a nice uh, uh, what's the best term for it maybe an evolutionary thing for trainers you really are co concerned you really are concerned okay if after they return to a route, the, the levels go up slightly, just to try and show growth to the trainer, it'd be interesting. Can I dodge you? No, I cannot. <sighs> I travel the world to train my Pokémon. I wish to battle with you. And I stalk around lighthouses because I've got nothing else to do. What's with all these gentlemen? Preston wants to battle. Who are Growlithe? Now I know Body Slam, I'm actually not really that concerned over Bayleaf, soon to be Meganium, um, being left in battle against a Pokemon that it's weak to, because I've always found Body Slam to be one of its best moves. I don't need to rely on Razor Leaf anymore as, a, as being its only okay to decent attack. I can now just Body Slam everything. Level 32. Gentleman Preston was defeated. Sigh, I must train some more. Bayleaf is evolving! I couldn't remember if it was 32 or 36 it evolved on. Congratulations, your Bayleaf evolved into a Meganium! Ah... I love Meganium. Do, 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 do. Jasmine is the cit city's gym leader. I mean no I mean to bring her back with me. Nobody had better get in my way. Don't know why I got a bit tongue twisted then. 
Lass Connie wants to battle. Sent out Meryl. She will be the first to face my newly my newly evolved Meganium. How did Razorleaf miss? Bye bye, Meryl. Ack, my Pokemon! Okay, so. Yeah, we'll drop down. Out the way. We'll drop down here. Ooh, an ether. Ah, oh, woo. Okay, that way. And up we go. Ooh, a super repel. Very nice. This Pokemon's always kept the sea lit, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand there is a wonderful pharmacy in Simwood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Papaloo. Its breathing is terribly laboured. Okay, no worries. I'll, uh... I'll make the journey. Ooh, a super potion. Interesting to find medicine up here. It's clearly uh, showing that she's prob probably tried uh, normal Pokemon potions, but nothing's worked best yet. So here's a quick way of getting back down to the ground floor. At least the return trip's going to be fairly uh, straightforward now that we've defeated all the uh, I was going to say gym leaders. Uh, now that we've defeated all the trainers in the lighthouse. Uh, okay, well let's just revive my Pokemon back to full. Yes, I'm out late. Once again, it's always late. At the time, at this very point in time, at recording, it is twenty past nine at night. Okay, well we are fully re revived. Now, we actually got the ability to teach Surf. What am I doing? Bro, I don't think I've got any water Pokemon on me, have I? Oh no, I've got Poliwag. There we go, Poliwag Learn Surf. Hmm, there's a big building up ahead. What is it? This is one of the things that they added to Pokemon Crystal. Gold and Silver didn't have this. It's the Battle Tower. I've never done it properly. I've had... Take the Ultimate Trainer Challenge. I've... Maybe had one match, maybe two, but I've never, like, dedicated any serious time to it. So, interesting. We may return here just to see how far we can get, maybe. Um, but I think I'm going to wrap up this episode. Like, like I said, it's a bit shorter than normal. Um, these episodes tend to usually be in the 50 minute to hour and a half on some of them. But I wanted to test to see what, uh, what the reaction of a shorter video would be. Uh, see if more people uh, like that sort of thing, so they're more inclined to watch the video. Uh, but yes, uh, if you like what you see, of course, uh, please consider giving me a like or subscribing to the channel. Uh, that way you can keep up to date with everything that I'm currently playing. Uh, this is, of course, my Pokemon Crystal playthrough. Tomorrow we've got the continuation of Star Trek Legacy. Uh, Tuesday we've got Sonic Heroes. Wednesday we've got The Legend of Zelda. Uh, Thursday we've got another Sonic Heroes, Friday we've got Star Trek Invasion for the PlayStation 1, uh, and then that will just bring us back to the weekend. Uh, so 
Uh, if you also want to follow me on Twitter, you can. It's at the Retro Game Ninety One. Uh, I do hmm, interrupted on by a phone. Uh, Twitter and Facebook, I update on a daily basis, if not every couple of days. I try to make it daily. Uh, Facebook, if you prefer that over Twitter, is at the Retro Gamer Ninety One. Now, what's this, Dana lass? Uh, Gold, it's me. It's me, Dana. Or Dana. My Flaffy is getting prettier. I've been taking photos galore. It took only an instant to KO a wild Noctowl. It must be because you gave me some battling tips last time. See you. She promised she'd call me if she had stuff to give me, not just to chat. Huh, well, with that out the way, uh, thanks for watching. And, as always, this is Liam, the Retro Gamer 91 Signing off.